We mooted this idea some time back and the reason is that we would like to have the Trinity College Nabingo Fraternity grow bigger and bigger. So the old girls of Trinity College Nabingo found it fit that we should found a primary school to feed our college and enlarge our family as Trinity College Nabingo. This is something which Nabingo has been lacking and uh, I was uh, dreaming of um, being like the other institutions that have feeder schools. My name is Marie Solomon Nasiwalwoa, the current president of Trinity College Nabingo Old Girls Association. Ah, today we are speaking to Kotilda Nakate Chikomeko Birawa, one of the former head teachers of Trinity College Nabingo. And on this particular topic, you are also speaking to the chairperson of the Construction Committee of the Trinity Junior School. You are interacting with Mrs. Rangai Immaculate Nasus, the head teacher of Trinity College in Nabingo. Okay. Okay. Well, first and foremost, Trinity College Nabingo was founded in 1942 by Bishop Edward Michaud of the White Fathers Missionaries as an all-girls secondary school. Mm -hmm. I think 42-46. If you looked around among our contemporaries, we are the only school that doesn't have a junior school. And we would love, given our core values that we cherish so much, of people who are God-fearing, people who are trained to be with high integrity, with justice and peace, we would love that we enlarge this fraternity, we enlarge this family, that we have young people coming up, and then you will see the country having more and better people to serve the country. If you are, the nation receives education, if the school gives education, then the nation benefits from an educated population. As old students, uh, the Trinity Junior School is actually a project for the Old Girls Association. Uh, the land was given to us by the Board of Governors of Trinity College Nabingo and the, our founding board of the church. So we are the major stakeholders in this. We'll be running this school. We have old students who are educationist teachers. They could have direct employment. We have old students who have daughters who could attend this school, even just involved in the administration of the school that uh, apart from giving back to the community, it is also going to be a, a, a profit-making institution. This project will, will empower the old girls themselves economically. We, when it comes in place, it's going to create employment. And when it comes to place, it's going to bridge uh, generations. Our Trinity College in Abingo is over eight years. It is 81 uh, this year. So if those the old, old girls brought their daughters, brought their children, and then the judges brought their grandchildren, you know, this, this is a very big impact in the fraternity of, of Trinity College in Abingo, old girls, but the community will have employment, facelift in the, in the community. So my feel was that Nabingo is going to get a, a feeder school. The only challenge is that, um, how do we get it? So yes, it's exciting, but it's another, it's challenging because obviously it has financial implications and uh, it's quite costly to set it up. But what I'm sure of is that uh, this is something which is of great, great importance. So not only Nabingo as a school, as old girls, but to the community at large. <laughs>